I first came here when I was a seven-year-old boy in 1970 on a family holiday. And at that time, there was an expedition and they had this tripod on the end of this platform sticking out of the hillside. And the camera lens on this tripod was a metre long. It was... It just amazed me as a small boy, a seven-year-old child, seeing grown men in Britain looking for monsters. And I just fell in love with the whole mystery and the whole adventure and just got hooked on the whole subject. The first written account of anything here at Loch Ness is actually in 565 AD. And through the centuries after that, the locals always reported seeing what they used to describe as giant mystery fish. And most of those sightings can be dismissed as people's hopeful imagination. But there's reliable eyewitnesses that are describing the back of something, like an upturned boat with the skin of an elephant. So a gray, tough skin, very fast, very big, and very unexplained. In 1934, there was one photograph taken which is called the surgeon's photograph, and it's the classic neck sticking up out of the water. Unfortunately, it got proven to be a fake, but we still have other great pieces of evidence. There's, there was a film shot in 1960 by a guy called Tim Dinsdale, and the thing going off across the water and then along the far shore in the water is, to this day, unexplained. I made the decision to do what I do full time after many years of coming here in my spare time for two weeks or three weeks. And eventually that wasn't enough for me of being here and the energy that I feel off of the place. I just wanted to be here full time involved in this. If I'm away from Loch Ness and I meet somebody and I tell them what it is I do here, I think at first they don't believe me. And then when I spend time and I tell them the stories of what life is like, the freedom and the adventure and the unpredictability of daily life here, they, they get it then. And there's a lot of feeling of eugenius, yeah. I think this is the best place in the world for me because it's the only place that I feel this energy that resonates off of the whole place and draws me back to it. If I've been away somewhere else and I come back here, when I'm 10 miles away, I'm whooping with joy that I know over the next hill or over the next hill, there it's gonna be, Loch Ness. And I used to think that that energy was the monster was Nessie, and the, that's what was drawing me back, this mystery. But so many other people that live here are drawn to here. And I know it's not Nessie, because half of those people don't even believe Nessie is in here, but they're drawn by another energy, by the, en the same energy I feel. It's... I don't get it anywhere else. It's... it's... It does make my heart sing, it just, it's, yeah.